There are three main ways that the mountains we see on our planet formed. The Asian way, the American way, and the Swiss way. The Himalayas were produced with a let's work together 50-50% approach of mountain building. The Rocky Mountains were produced with a slip under and don't give up approach. The Swiss Alps were produced with a slip over and get worn down approach. Switzerland accommodated the foreign rocks and it rose to the top of Europe. Formation of the Himalayas 70 million years ago, India touched Asia. Instead of slipping under her or over her, he built with her the very highest mountains on the planet, almost 9 kilometers tall. Formation of the Rocky Mountains 50 million years ago, the Pacific Ocean floor sliding under North America for much too many millions of years, suddenly and unexpectedly hit a granite wall. With hard work and perseverance, she was able to push him up out of her way and like a pioneer, built mountains in the middle of the continent. Formation of the Swiss Alps 30 million years ago, Europe was invaded from Africa. The new rocks made very high mountains and put Switzerland at the highest point in Europe. This allowed Switzerland to shape and water Europe. Africa drifted north, crashed into Europe, and drained the sea which covered a great part of it. Some parts of Europe, called Eura, which was mainly sandstone, got a bit crumbled and folded. But in the end, Europe was able to withstand the crash and onslaught from Africa. The softer limestone and shale that covered the seabed was pushed by Africa and slid on top of Europe, folded over and started to form a pile. Africa kept pushing its granite with such force that it too crumbled and slid over on top of the limestone pile, capping it with an African granite hat. The weight of the pile of the new rock which landed from Africa was too much to bear for Europe and she suffered a deep depression right in front of the pile. The pile was so overcrowded that some of it got pushed into the deep depression which was then named the Molassa Basin. The crumbling pile of rocks were called the Alps. Africa pushed and pushed until the breaking point. The break formed an indentation that filled up with a new sea called the Mediterranean. As if to protest the invasion of the foreign rocks, Europe suddenly got cold. It got so cold that the snow accumulated until it covered the Alps and the surrounding land with glaciers. When the glaciers started to melt and the water in the cracks of the rocks could thaw and freeze, the Alps started to wear down. Molassa Basin got rounded and the draining waters carved it into the foothills seen today. Switzerland, the watershed of Europe. Switzerland and the Swiss Alps are situated at the center of Europe at its highest point. The Alps accumulated glaciers that melted and carved Europe in the form and shape that we see today. Today, it is the watershed of Europe feeding its main rivers. Today, Switzerland accumulates and stores water in the form of glaciers, ensuring a constant source of surface and groundwater for Europe. At present, 20% of all the surface water in the Rhine flowing through Germany is from Switzerland. Switzerland provides some surface water for the Danube, which waters East Europe, and the Po, which waters Italy. It is the main source feeding the Rhone, which waters southeastern France.